call them the truly fishing faithful. 11,000 spreading across Hole in the Day Bay, braving wind chills of about minus 20, competing for prizes in an ice fishing extravaganza for charity. Here, hope springs eternal from holes drilled through as much as two feet of ice. Some have tried for years to catch their first fish, like Matt Erickson. You know what, you brave it, you come out, you do it one day, go home, stay inside for about three days, so. To get warm. Up. Yep, warm back up. Lesson one, cold weather fishing fashion is all about hats of all sizes and species, says Aaron Kruppel. What are you wearing exactly on your head? I'm wearing a coyote hat made from the guy right down here, actually. So is it a real coyote? It was, yes. Joe Goble, a machinist from the local area, knew enough to bring out his Barca lounger. The Barca lounger is part of your wind protection system. Exactly, because I can just tuck back into it and the wind will kind of go around you. <laughs> when someone actually caught a fish, it was rushed to the weighing tent because the biggest fish wins. You're not gonna win anything with that, do you think? Well, you don't know unless you try, sir. <laughs> G'day! G'day! Some came from far away, like icy cold Australian Mark Rosewarn. Most of the United States, when it gets cold, they yeah. go indoors. What do you make of it? As far as I can gather, it's Minnesotan. And if you tell anyone it's Minnesotan, they understand what you're talking about. Look at that! In the end, avid fisherman Art Karski was the big winner with a 4.73 pound walleye caught just seven walleye. minutes before the contest oh, ended. The big question, Art, how did you catch it? On a hook. <laughs> the grand prize, a brand new pickup. You realize all over America, people who are sitting next to fireplaces laughing at people like you for being out here That's in right, the cold. I laugh all day, I got a new truck. <laughs> <laughs> For the losers, there's always next year, and a belief in that old fishing saying about patience. Good things come to those who bait. Barry Peterson, CBS News, on Hole in the Day Bay, Minnesota.